Hello people, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And welcome back to Ilus, of course, the desert city. Uh, how big is she getting now, everyone? <laughs> so huge. And made a new content drop this week, of course. We have all the new uh, skyscrapers and Hearts of Korea stuff. Of course, all the free new roads as well. Though we already do have plenty of roads in Ilos, I think we are going to upgrade a little section of Main Street's tram design uh, into some of the new tram roads today, which should be tremendously exciting. Uh, but either way, what I would like to do is, because we've had some new skyscrapers drop in, I think this is a perfect opportunity uh, to develop yet another kind of block um, of Main Street here. And I'm thinking that we're going to be kind of piecing together some very heavy plaza vibes, some kind of World Trade Center vibes in there as well, in terms of kind of an open corporate business trade plaza that is very well known in the city has some nice statues and landscaping in there uh, and of course some new possibilities uh, with all the skyscrapers that have arrived recently it should be quite a fun one this it's always a nice time to be working with main street in ilos so let's see what we can do with the main street world trade center plaza in city skylines so first of all i'd just like to start by amending uh, some of the existing frames that are already in this space so let's take out this road and then we will grab it again and then I'd like to just amend the angle coming out of here until we hit uh, that road guideline if it wants to behave itself. Let's try about there. That should be good for me. Bring that in. Uh, and then a little bit of node controller uh, would actually work in a couple of places here. Uh, let's come ahead and just restretch all this off, totally close the offset and then just square everyone off. That should give us a much more pleasing kind of angle junction. And then with this one here, I just want to Maybe stretch the offset to about 17 meters or so. Helps that bend to settle in a little bit more. And we have much more interesting junctions beginning to develop around the Margaret frames now uh, as it begins to grow, of course. So I'm thinking we're going to have kind of two different things side of the street here. One for the towers, one for maybe a little bit of recreation, maybe a little kind of lower admin HR smaller buildings, perhaps a hotel here for any kind of international delegates that travel to um, Ilos's kind of trade center plaza. So, let's come in with some pedestrian road. This is going to be, of course, the uh, choice road of the episode today, I think. So, let's go with a large bluestone pedestrian road, first of all. And so it can pretty much land up in the middle here, doesn't it? It's got 12 units either side. No, not quite. Not quite in the middle. That, that'll do for me. So, really, I'm not too bothered about where this is going just yet. Of course, it's um, allowing the towers to take priority is going to be... Uh, the choice design here today, I think. So, let's dive into the wonderful world of the uh, new uh, unique buildings. There's a ton of them. Again, links down below to Instant Gaming if you're looking to pick up this pack uh, alongside any of the city's DLCs. All super cheap now. But, there's a few different ones we can sort of squeeze in here. You may already notice I've already squeezed one in too. Um, Ilos's main street. There's one right here, the Leto Tower. Uh, just to kind of see how it sat against all the existing towers and uh, we do have to be careful not to go too tall, because there's some very tall boys in this pack. So, let's just sort of have a little look at what we think. That one's maybe a little bit too tall for me. Let's go ahead and have a look at perhaps one Montgomery, and there's the that one there as well, which is a little bit taller, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine, though. So, let's go ahead with uh, one Montgomery on the corner, I think, okay? I think a core orientation is going to lend itself really nicely to these towers. They, they're very kind of Main Street Phoenix. <laughs> There's a lot of towers like this that I've always wanted, like, had to go to the workshop to get assets for, but this content creator pack is just fantastic, everyone. This has been, like, one of the best updates I think there's ever been for cities, I think, over the years. Uh, very happy to have lots of new roads. Uh, let's do a little bit of height work there, so we're not sort of just on our own. Okay, so this is going to need a little bit of finagling here, so we're going to need to find out exactly where it loses its connection. So we could have it there, it's still registered connected to the main road, that's going to be fine. Um, let's go ahead and give that just a healthy dose of surface paint as well, so we can start to create those sort of concrete vibes. And we could also do a little bit of tiling here today as well, I think we might do. But we'll sort of have a look at that towards the detail at least anyway. I'd also just like to... Uh, amend this bridge here as well. Looks like there's a node there. We want to drag that back. The, the, the canal is here. It's going to make it quite awkward to integrate. So we'll have to do some uh, fun tricks today, I think. Let's go ahead and downgrade this. 
so it touches the road, this first segment, there we go, that gets rid of that awkward sort of area there, doesn't it? And it really opens up that street corner now with the, the tower. I think I'm on board with it, I think it's nice. Yeah, it's blending in. <laughs> I think I'm happy with it. This is one of those builds that could take a while to settle in, of course. We've never really tried anything like this before, but it should be pretty fun. So, let's go ahead and drag in a little curved section of the pedestrian street where it can then meet back up with the road that passes through the grid before it extends down again. And we'll just leave it there for right now. We'll decide what's going to lie over there. Now, I'd like the uh, second tower to occupy this space here, I think. So, let's go ahead and come back in to find another one. Which one do we like? I think I'm feeling this one here, the one Galveston. It's slightly taller than the one we have at the minute. But it still sort of has a similar vibe to it, sort of like the tower across the street. I think that we can get on board with that, I think. So we'll go with that one. Um, I don't want it directly sort of on the road though, so let's just have a little look as to how far it's going to be kicking off. We will need a service point here as well at some point. Uh, I could actually just totally bypass the service point by having it sit against the road. That probably would solve all the issues for us. Save just having to pay for another pedestrian area then. Okay, so let's bring this through now. Let's just go ahead and make sure that's all flush with surface painter again. There's a lot of sort of little decals and ideas we can do with detail in here to help these settle in a little bit more. Let's just talk about how we can detail some of these spaces around here. So let's go ahead and position it slightly there. Um, and then it's really just a case of thinking, maybe finding some sort of quintessential downtown detailing. Um, a statue would be very nice here. could actually use um, a unique statue uh, to actually have it interact, which would be... Uh, tremendously nice, perhaps pairing well with the Statue of Wealth for like a trade centre plaza. I think that might be quite appropriate, I think. Uh, why don't we see if we can integrate that in. If we set it to the same height over here. Just kind of see how plausible that is. I think it sits nicely within the tower itself, doesn't it? Just to uh, have a unique there, sort of anarchy in alongside it. But that's going to be too bad at all. Hey, there you go. So someone's walking across the concrete now into the unique. That's very nice. Yeah, it's gonna, oh, there she, she disappears. At least they're using it there, and that's what, that's what really matters. I'm hoping that they won't stand on the road here when they come to visit this statue. I'm hoping that they just use it normally, I think. should hope so, anyway. Cool. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and grab some planters now. And we can perhaps come up with a little design together. So why don't we go with um, sort of a preset pattern here. Let's come on with prop line tool. Uh, we will round up. Let's turn off our default spacing. Let's come up by maybe 15 meter units. Okay, and if we can just maybe have three that kind of fill the width of the tower, we could perhaps use this as something of a detailing uh, palette or template for the plaza. Um, let's go ahead and find uh, a nice tree. There's plenty of options available to us now. Probably something big and tall, I think. But also something quite landscaped at the same time. Maybe that one? That one's not too bad, is it? Farm gum's a bit too sort of parched and desert looking, I think. Same with the river gum, too. The obvious choice would be palms. I think we're going to go with this common tree. Uh, number one. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Cool. And then let's go ahead and find some benches. Something quite tasteful, something quite luxurious, almost a university bench. I think trade school bench actually might be quite appropriate here, isn't it? I think if we just position a few of these uh, little benches around the uh, the base of our planter. It's little areas like this within concrete spaces that can really help us bring them to life a little bit more. You can place down some of the hangout markers as well via Find It, uh, which will of course allow people to actually come and hang out in these spaces. Uh, so let's grab props and trees. We will go ahead and just take that palette. Uh, we don't want the base ponter though. And then we just want that in each of the uh, ponter spaces. Should do us quite a nice job, I think. Okay. Yeah, it just fills that little bit of space outside of the tower, doesn't it? Gives it a little bit more interest, perhaps where there is some you know, seatable space as you're walking through this area. The pedestrian road really helps, actually, just in terms of breaking that concrete texture. We're walking between the towers here, very cool. Very happy with how it's coming together so far, I think. 
Let's have a look at the tram road, shall we? Uh, we haven't really talked about the new tram road yet, so uh, apart from the noobs guide, of course, this, this, this week's episode, uh, lots of fun noobs guide tram work going on if you're following that series. Uh, so yeah, let's just have a look at the city's roads. So I think to have bicycle lanes and bus lanes on this one would also be pretty cool. So I think that is what we're going to do. At least we're not going to bring this all the way down Main Street because I do want this Vanilla Plus tram road to remain for at least a little bit of area, if you like, because I do like the kind of concrete uh, median that sits in the middle of it. But let's just get this upgraded all the way down. Let's just go for that for right now. And then we should have this brand new spanking road, which of course got cycle lanes on it, so it's going to improve Ilos's already near perfect traffic flow. <laughs> Those are not my guts. Possibly needed. Oh, are you alright? Need to get out of the way, dude. Oh, it's a woman. What are you doing? What's your name? Annabelle Cooper is leaving the city in a body bag by the looks of it. There she goes. She's uh, ethereal. She can just phase through. Physical objects, but it looks like she's waiting for some uh, tram transport anyway. I'm very happy to see these uh, new tram roads in Nilos. Just with the OE trams as well. I don't think we're going to change the OE trams out. They're kind of classic high loss, right? I do like my own tram models. Very nice. Love the new roads. They think they work quite nicely for high don't they? Especially once we get some people cycling through here as well. That should be quite fun. But otherwise, we've got our two towers configured and a little bit of walkable space here now. Uh, let's hop across the road and perhaps talk about some kind of hotel area for kind of business and trade delegates that might stay at if they visit this area. Wonderful news everyone, people are using the roads and walking across into the towers, having a wonderful time. Uh, they do disappear a little bit before they get into the tower which is a bit annoying but uh, at least they're visiting it right? And you can sort of see them move around in the little foyer as well, this is very cute, enjoying this. Tremendous, cool. So we mentioned about uh, some kind of uh, hotel space here. And I've got an idea of what I'd like to happen with this next square of the Trade Plaza. So, let's come into our unique buildings. We're going to come into Content Creator stuff. And then I want to get uh, the Resort Hotel from uh, the Japan pack, of course, which is one of our favourite unique buildings. We love this one. So I just want it so it's just against the main road like that. Real nice, big, uh, important looking building that sits along Main Street here, isn't it? I think I'm happy with that. That's going to be quite nice. Uh, I'd then like to introduce um, another tower into the area. So let's come back into our unique buildings. And I think I've got an idea of the one I'd like to use. It's going to be the uh, Term Am Park, which is the small version uh, of this tower. There is the Galstrom, is the big one. Uh, but again, it's, it's too big for Main Street. So uh, then I'd like to just have this here. And I'd like to fuse this in with the hotel itself, so they're kind of one solid building. So you can access the tower from the hotel and vice versa. Okay, then we're going to have that there. So that gives us three new towers on Main Street. And of course, we can check out the uh, lateral line from uh, elsewhere in the city. For example, we just get uh, three nice new pops of height on Main Street now, don't we? Uh, they're not too dominant. They just get an achievement for cables galore. I'm guessing that's something to do with cable cars. Okay, but either way, we got uh, you know, three new pops of hype. Everyone's going to be uh, relatively happy with that, I hope. I'm happy with it. And it's settling in from kind of all angles from wherever we look at Ilos now. Really just uh, immensely happy with how this Valley Lad Medical Center turned out. We got like a real sense of, you know, Chungus building, haven't we? And it's, uh, it's nice to see those vibes coming in. Cool. So it's developing, it's developing isn't it? It's not, it's not too bad for right now. Uh, I'd also like to have a little bit of shopping and kind of recreation, kind of expensive luxurious shops along this area too. So let's just reconfigure our pedestrian road here. Uh, we'll come down into version with trees around the edges. And then let's just draw in a base frame. We'll grab ourselves a plaza's actual plaza. And uh, why don't we go for uh, the large fountain boy. That seems like it's going to be appropriate. And then hopefully we can just wrap this up with pedestrian road. That shouldn't give us any major issues. Uh, and then I guess we can also hook this one back onto Main Street as well. 
uh, where we do actually want to make sure we continually upgrade uh, into our new tram road for this particular area. So we'll take it all the way up here as well. Got some cycling going in, the, in this sort of part of the city. Right, so hopefully there was a few people cycling now. Yes, there we go. Wonderful news, everyone. The hordes of Ilos are beginning to cycle down Main Street. Amazing. You'll sit and watch this forever, couldn't you? <laughs> really good. Alright, but I hope we appreciate the aesthetic of a fused tower hotel here, okay? I'm going to be generally on board with that aesthetic, I think. I have kind of just realized from certain angles, some of these towers with the way that their bottoms are, they do very much resemble the, uh, the old twin towers, don't they? From in, well, what, what were in New York, of course. So yeah, it's that, that style, isn't it? Those like thin concrete pillars in lots of rows. Very kind of old world trade center vibes, isn't it? From uh, New York City, of course. Anyway, so now we've got this space in here. Um, I think another unique building is gonna come in uh, clutch and this is going to be something from uh, the hearts of Korea stuff which is going to be at the Dawson Square Center Again, I'm thinking I want this about here I think okay uh, Again, it might be even backing onto the main road is going to be an aesthetic So I think what we will do is actually just lose that pedestrian pathway connection for a second uh, And then just see what the fusing possibilities are like here. We are going to need um, a pedestrian area point now though because we've got this asset placed on there okay so again I want to fuse it in so it's like one continuous building here between the tower the shopping center and the hotel you can access all from one and I think it's not coming out too bad as it? it's very modern very cool looking it's not too bad I think is it for kind of a big business plaza like this uh, let's go ahead and grab some more pedestrian road, and I can see almost uh, the near perfect opportunity to anarchy a pedestrian road through this unique building. We'll connect it there, and then I think again with a little bit of move it sort of jazz, if you will. There we go. Let's just see how people walk through here. Don't want them to clip with the pillars. I'm hoping that they won't. There's a lot of people. It's good. I'm not complaining. Okay, so the pillars are kind of in the way of the path there, but no one's clipping through them. So I guess you can just have the pillar in the path and just kind of accept that. I don't think I can really refuse that. To have people walking underneath the unique. So since like the stairs in here as well, it makes it look a lot more alive, doesn't it? Cool, and then they're all heading down here and uh, off into the trade center, which is wonderful, fabulous. So let's come in now and grab ourselves uh, some uh, more pedestrian road. You're just going to have to be like that. I think you are, although node controller will probably say otherwise. Uh, if we stretch everyone out and then we want to offset green. Uh, also red a little bit as well. And then we want to shift our orange friend until it's somewhat straight on the eye. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Just opens out that junction straight into the pedestrian connection for us. That's going to be a happy time. And then I think if we pop into the world of Find It and then search MC within our high density commercial pool, uh, we can place in a bunch of uh, modern city centre stuff uh, as some kind of uh, shopping sort of facility here, if we like for people to enjoy. So why don't we see what we can do? Uh, let's go ahead and piece together a few of these assets here. We'll see what we can. Uh, find. Let's go ahead and uh, find some flat ones that would like to be in a row. There we go. Yeah, so let's get plenty of these uh, thick chungus boys. Different vibes here to be had. Okay, and this should give us, especially once it's been uh, surface painted as well, which we'll have a little look at here now because and there's more little sort of concrete plaza space to develop here. Um, I think even actually if we wanted the area to be sort of interactable. And we could almost create like a little sort of mock entrance into the back of the hotel here with the anarchy pathway. Um, that's not a bad shout actually, you know, someone might end up using that. There's already people under the sort of veranda here, the cover. I think if you walk out into kind of the shopping centre itself through a plaza. I feel like that's a waste of a node. <laughs> Probably. 
Probably shouldn't do that. I could probably want to bob off these flowers as well off of the tower because they're clipping through the building now. But there are people actually sat under here using it. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a waste of a path, isn't it? <laughs> it's a waste of a path node. I shouldn't do that. I need to be respectful of Ilos's ever dwindling nodes. So I think if we just actually sort of copy and paste it, can we get a nice little sort of happy at flower plaza pattern in here? And then just use that to decorate the space. And it will sort of be interactable as well, of course. But goodness gracious me, everyone. Uh, that is really nice. I'm a huge fan of that. A little bit of fusing and move it. And your new content creator assets. Uh, results in a really, really wonderful aesthetic. Very much happy with that. That's generally super busy already as well. Which is good. Wonderful. Uh, so we do need to give uh, these guys a pedestrian area because they are going to be complaining. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a service point. Probably just need... Probably a small one will do actually for this, I think. Um, can we have this kind of like integrated on the corner? And then we can almost allow for some sort of administration admin space to sit on the edge of the main street here. I think I'm going to be on board with that. Uh, let's go ahead and draw out that pedestrian area just so it covers... Uh, all of our commercial and uniques, that way no one's going to be unhappy. Uh, please get name suggestions down below uh, for the name of Ilos's Trade Center. I'd be happy for you guys to uh, give it a name. We'll choose it next week. That's going to give functionality to the pedestrian area. Um, I would like to address the trees, if at all possible, uh, before we move on to another uh, theme in the build. Uh, and this is perhaps the introduction um, of some old faithful California palm. Been a, a trusty tree for us during... Ilos's development, and I think that really tall tree in and amongst all these really kind of exotic looking buildings and plaza spaces now. It does us a job, or is it too spicy? It might be too spicy, might not it? Do you know what I think it is, actually? It's the fact that we're using the pedestrian road with the trees on the outside. I think just a simple change in actual uh, path design there is going to be very helpful. Why don't we maybe try... The shorter palm, would that be slightly less overwhelming? Uh, I don't know. I do like the height, though, actually, of the sort of main California palms that we use in the city. I'm enjoying it. This could possibly be my uh, most favourite ever unique building fusing that we've done. I think is this even surpasses the Valley Lad fusing, um, which we know is one of my favourites. I know a lot of your favourites as well, but I know this is like a lot grander and a lot bigger in kind of how this is all pieced together. But, uh, yeah, there's something about this little main street complex here, like the little shopping and hotel uh, fusing. That is just uh, wonderful. Look how busy it is down here already, too. It would appear that these skyscrapers are drawing a lot of tourists. Um, a lot of them. Which is good. It's not, it's not a bad thing, of course. But either way, cool. So, yeah, so we can carry on placing in our modern uh, mid-century, uh, modern commercial stuff, anyway. Uh, at a later date. And then I think what I would like to do... Um, is where we have some spaces maybe like here. I'd like to add in just a little bit of car parking. So let's just go ahead and throw in some placeholder assets. Things like that. So let's go ahead and just move that up to the corner. And we do want them to be sort of tightly fused together. So that's perfect. And then we'll basically just repeat this building. Uh, to sit in sort of these shapes. And then maybe one more over that side. We'll reset them with move it so we get the same colours. And then again, there's more kind of enjoyable plaza space to be developed out here, isn't there? Perhaps a little cafe and some tables, maybe a sort of a fancy uh, upper-end restaurant uh, near the, the trade centre. I love how this plaza, this fountain sits in the middle too. Uh, yeah, so once we have that in, uh, I think along the back here, um, if the wonderful world of parking lot roads will allow it, um, I think we're just going to come in with uh, just some car parking because there isn't that much around here apart from uh, over this side in the park. Have I not placed down parking spaces? Yes, I have. They just didn't spawn in. That's okay. Uh, okay, so let's do six units. Uh, we'll node control that out in a second. And then I think just a 22 meter lot. 48 is going to be too thick, isn't it? Oh, I could squeeze it in though. It would serve as like road against road action. I think it's, it's too big. It's too big, isn't it? I'm trying to force it in where it won't fit. It's not a good thing to do. Uh, and let's just go for 20 units. 
Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, it's a possibility again to do perhaps maybe a little sort of pattern here. We came out by three, and then grabbed another parking lot road, and then came out by ten. Yes, that gives us some slightly more interesting shapes, and of course, once this is all surface painted and we've got some planters in there just to help kill a little bit of that empty space, uh, that car park will blend in a little bit more. We can see where we need to node control this. Uh, I'm guessing that's an offset with the orange friend. Yes, there we go. That just wants to fix it. Cool. And then that gives us some arrival opportunities and spaces for uh, people arriving to the trade center via car. They can park now. That's going to be great. Wonderful news. Might switch out some of these assets here. Not a massive love. Or if, if anything, actually, we can just put billboards on the back of them. Um, yeah, it's there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I do I mind the flat faces with the angles. I don't know. We'll, we'll find something to do with it anyway. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we always do. So the last thing I'd like to look at today before we move into a detailed time lapse is going to be exactly what's happening uh, with the canal. So I think I'm going to run um, a little dirt path parallel with it. Up till there as well. And then we'll probably squeeze another connection. Uh, up through the middle. So a lot of these spaces here where we've got our suburbia frame uh, during the deal turn time lapse today and um, I'll plop in some more housing because of course this uh, frames need to surround kind of the actual main street area itself so we get that you know same thing over here so we've got that sort of sprawl of suburbia in the foreground up to main street so we need to make sure we respect that vibe uh, but because the canal is through here I almost want to make it sort of maybe the Perhaps City Council were reluctant to build it here because it's kind of a little bit more sort of rundown vibes, but you know the, the trade center has tried to almost spruce it up a little bit. So I think we'll have some nicer pathway here. And then maybe they can sort of sit out here and enjoy the rush of the water and some graffiti. And an advert for some uh, ILOS fencing, of course. But the general vibe is here is that you know they've at least tried to make an effort will service paint this out as well, make sure it's set at the same height. But then where the sort of canal leaves the trade center plaza and sort of goes back into regular ILOS if you like and then we are introduced with uh, this sort of chain link fence uh, barrier between uh, the pathway and then I think lots of our larger trees here especially like the dry gums and some of the live oak boys uh, will be very welcome in a little bit of space like this so let's see where we can perhaps squeeze some of them in uh, just want to maybe get them along here, various different sort of ones and whatnot, and sort of bigger trees in the corner. A little bit of, well not a little bit, actually quite a lot of like dry desert grasses and there's uh, lots of those tall uh, little green bushes as well. Just kind of general overgrown vibes and sort of not very well kept or maintained etc. is what we want to achieve with something like this. And I think just a little bit of overgrowth. Uh, combined with some larger choice trees, uh, the appropriate fencing uh, can really help just bring in uh, sort of a slightly uh, dirtier vibe, I suppose is the word here, and helps us kind of integrate that network uh, into uh, ILOS itself. And it looks like we could probably, uh, if indeed we're feeling daring enough, is to go ahead and grab a pathway. Uh, which one do we want? I don't want to use elevated zoo path here, it's too fancy. I guess we'll, we'll just do this one, it's okay. Uh, yes, so maybe from like here, we want to do um, a little three curve and then we can elevate up by four meters. And then we'll do another three curve. And then we'll elevate up one more. That pillar should be able to just settle in all right. Of course, we're playing with the wonderful world of anarchy. So we can have a little pedestrian crossing uh, across the canal here. Okay, and then we can repeat that pathway chain link fencing on the other side as the uh, mass suburbia uh, is, of course, plopped in. I think I'm just going to use my tag for single story uh, low density. And I think we'll just plop in uh, a whole bunch of these during our, our detail and time lapse. Uh, so we can hopefully just place in a few together and get an impression of what... Uh, it might look like. I've also recently become a fan of um, very heavily repeated college housing. I will show you an example of this. Uh, we 
off camera. I've just been doing some admin that needs doing. Uh, yes, in the Valley Lad suburb here. Uh, what a wonderful little collection this looks like. Okay, so this is a level 5 university asset from the uh, University City stuff. And uh, just in a mass pattern with a little bit of fencing around it. Uh, it works a treat, doesn't it? Look at the views up to the larger complexes here now that are developing from like the local roads too. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I think I'm going to do a custom first person walking tour video in Ilos as well, being this close to the ground. Got some nice ideas for that, so keep your eye out on the channel for it. Uh, but either way, guys, this feels like uh, a good place for a detailing time lapse. And uh, we've got some uh, work to do here, including filling in and adding personality to our concrete spaces. Uh, like we've talked about many times before, planter designs. We might get some tiles down as well, use some of the bluestone tile. Uh, and then surface paint up any areas that need it. I think I'm just going to create this into some kind of general recreational space. Again, more plazas, more props. Uh, just something for the workers to kind of sit out here. And, you know, enjoy something in the sort of shade of the towers. Uh, very nice, of course. Yes, and then same again through all here. Uh, mass plop, um, our low density suburb. So again, we've kind of got this, you know, suburban sprawl. Um, especially at the foot uh, of the new uh, towers on Main Street, which have settled into the city um, tremendously well. Uh, especially when we look along kind of our uh, lateral line of Main Street against the sort of high rise of the downtown. You know, those new towers, they haven't become too intrusive. Uh, we definitely have to be careful with them. There's a lot of big towers in that new skyscrapers pack, but they're all absolutely beautiful. But, uh, I think Ilos' uh, new developments here uh, have become quite tasteful. Uh, for the Trade Centre Plaza, and there's a lot of people uh, moving around on the new road as well, which is always welcome, of course. But it's alright. I'm happy with it. I'm enjoying it. Huge lover of the kind of the lower down street view here. Yes, it's uh, it's really piecing together. But otherwise, uh, let's detail uh, the Ilos World Trade Centre, and then we'll be right back.
Hey guys, let's have a detailing review, shall we? So we, as we enter the plaza, uh, we have an expanded food truck pattern. So I dropped in the actual food truck asset itself, and then used the same tiles and benches uh, just to expand its pattern out. Also, a California pizza kitchen. Uh, again, with some of the tables uh, outside, again, just as an expanded E to revive. Uh, and this area is, like, super busy. And we're getting lots of people walking through off of the trams uh, from downtown. And it's just the best. <laughs> yes, please, everyone. There's Chirpa's fat Korean cousin. But anyway, yes, it's all very nice. It's all very commercial and wonderful. We've got little alleyways through here as well. And it's just, yeah, love the inclusion of modern uh, city centre stuff alongside these new towers. So it's turned out really wonderfully. And this view here is like one of my favourite views in the city. Just this fusing of the new Korean assets, one of the old Japanese assets, and then a new tower. Just This has just created a really interesting, like, dynamic sort of downtown Main Street commercial space. Really happy with it. Uh, and then we come out of the plaza across the road, of course, uh, into the next plaza where I've added in a little water feature uh, and some rocks and just some very delicate kind of pink tree work. Uh, nothing overly serious as it sits in uh, alongside the pathway, which goes down the Kanana, which is getting a little bit of use, which is nice to see. Uh, and then, yes, there's some uh, fountains here as well with some after dark lights in, of course, which you guys will see during the cinematics uh, before we come to some new open plaza detailing using some of the plazas and promenade statue props uh, with some flowers and benches for our usual thing and our sort of uniform uh, sort of internal tower planter design uh, has now come full circle uh, as it surrounds all sides of the main towers so people can Make use of it, there's a Labrador heading to work by the looks of things as well. There he goes. Oh, big stretch. There we go. <laughs> oh, and he disappeared. Cool. So that was my dog voice. <laughs> I realised I was actually just talking to a city skylight dog. Alright. Um, anyway, yeah, planters around the edge of the towers. And then brought in uh, a little bit of old faithful network planter just because I couldn't help myself. And then I absolutely love the way that these Ilos flags sit at the entrance to kind of the World Trade Plaza. Um, that was really cool. I love that like it is kind of, you know, Ilos' plaza. So, of course, Ilos' flags are here as well. And that statue of Well sits really nicely in front of the tower. Uh, really super happy with it. And just look how busy and walkable the whole space has become. Uh, just super happy with it. And it's a really nice addition on Main Street as well. We really... Really grown Main Street out with this build here today. It's um, it's a big chungus boy. I'm really enjoying it. Here we go. Isn't this the best? <laughs> so good. Mega busy trams. And then, of course, they cross the road uh, into the hospital uh, complex here. Where it comes in and drops people off for unnecessary health appointments. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so, like... Just happy with Main Street. It's kind of been like a bit of a weird project Main Street because it's been so many different builds glued together. But now that it's pretty much in and it goes all the way down uh, back into downtown Ilos, it's just, uh, yeah, sort of come full circle, I think. I'm, I'm really happy with it. It also expanded the service point out with some fencing and some containers and some sort of trash processing just so it's like, yeah, we, we've done this before now with our service points. Uh, rather than just leaving them on their own, sort of integrating them into the build, I hope you agree, sort of makes a difference here, right? Yeah, really happy with it. Uh, and then over around the back, uh, we have just mass plopped, uh, again, more of our low-income uh, housing designs with a little bit more Ilos dry belt against the canal. Uh, the pedestrian pathway here um, is getting a little bit of use, if not for a touch of someone's back garden clipping onto it there. And then, yes, we've got the uh, pathway linked over so they can cross over other sides uh, of the uh, canal if they want to. And now we just see as we kind of sit uh, within the suburbia of uh, Main Street against the main road here as we approach into go to the taller towers. And you can see, you know, several other sort of towers further and further down before the main skyline eventually reveals itself. Uh, through the palms. So really nice additions to Main Street today. It's really kind of brought the Main Street project to a close quite nicely. Uh, and it's nice to have some uh, new sort of pops of height in here at the same time as well. But otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments and shares below really do help me out. Even if you haven't enjoyed it, then leave me a dislike as well. 
If you're looking to pick up any of the new content that we've worked with today, either Korea or the Skyscraper stuff, please check out Instant Gaming. Uh, they will be in stock on there at some point. You can get it for super cheap and support the channel at the same time as well. Really happy with today's kind of World Trade Center Plaza. It's been something I've been wanting to try in cities for a long time. And the kind of the combination now of having um, the plazas and promenade roads combined with the skyscrapers and all the new fountains and sort of plaza designs we can put together. Um, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> it's really good. Um, some nice Asian themes in here as well with the Korean and Japanese assets all fusing together to create this really important block. Uh, along Main Street. Just overwhelmingly happy with it and it's crazy busy as well uh, which is always satisfying of course. Please do hang around for your cinematics but I will shut up and I will leave it there. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day.